The mission of the Irish Girl Guides is to enable girls and young women to develop to their fullest potential as responsible citizens of the world. At Ladyburg Guides, our aim is to encourage each girl on a personal, social and community level. Ladyburg Guides learn the importance of sharing, helping others, teamwork and the appreciation of nature and the environment around them. Our motto is L is for learning to grow in independence. A is for activities, including songs and games. D is for dainty red sweatshirts with the Ladybird logo. Y is for yes, it's great fun. B is for busy and bright and sometimes quiet. I is for Irish Girl Guides, the family of guiding to which we all belong. R is ready to help with a smile. D is for Discover the World. Ladyburg Guides are girls aged between 5 and 7. They are the youngest members of the Irish Girl Guides, which is open to girls of every faith and the religious beliefs of all are respected. Our programme is based on the symbols of a ladybird, a crock of gold and a rainbow, celebrating the seven colours which we call spots. Each colour represents a different challenge for the ladybirds to encourage and develop an awareness of themselves, others and the environment. The Ladybird Guide two-year programme focuses on activities, games, crafts and songs based on the seven colours of the rainbow. When they first join, they spend the first six weeks following a pre-enrolment programme. They then take part in an enrolment ceremony. To be enrolled as a Ladybird Guide, they must know the Ladybird Guide song, their motto, their promise, their vesper, and have heard the Ladybird story. The Ladybird Spots The red spot is the active Ladybirds involved in games and activities. The orange spot is based on crafts and making things. The yellow spot revolves around the Ladybird motto of caring and sharing. The green spot means looking at nature and the world and environment in which we live. The blue spot encourages the ladybird to care for herself and the world around her. The indigo spot focuses on ladybirds around the world. The violet spot refers to the guiding family and moving on from ladybirds to brownies. Every week we meet for an hour in groups of no more than 24. The ratio of adults to girls is 1 to 8 in the hall and 1 to 4 when taking part in outside activities with the girls. During our meetings, the girls take part in activities such as games, crafts and songs, which are led by an adult leader called Cochinella, who manages the Ladybird Guide Unit with the assistance from other leaders known as Rainbow, Adelia, Calvia or Thea. All leaders and unit helpers go through the Irish Girl Guide screening process, which includes Garda vetting. Our meeting begins when the Ladybirds have gathered together around the garden, and together we sing the Ladybird song. Some units have their own actions for this song. Watch us pass as we go by, as we stretch our wings and say, Happy as it's Ladybird Day. We then join together to repeat the Ladybird motto. The crock of gold can be passed around if the unit collects their subs on a weekly basis. During our weekly meetings, the Ladybirds are encouraged to participate in the interest badges. There are numerous interest badges, for example, road safety, development education, international, voting badge, health promotion, drugs awareness, which the girls work towards over a period of time. The Ladybirds spend the remainder of their meeting playing games and taking part in a whole range of crafts and activities which are chosen to stimulate, educate and entertain. There are no bananas in the sky, in the sky, there are no bananas in the sky, in the sky, there's a sun and a moon and a great big apple pie. 
The guiding program is designed to promote integration, social interaction and independence, as well as promoting regard for our environment and the guiding family to which we belong. The ladybird uniform is a red sweatshirt, navy tracksuit with a navy neckerchief and woggle. The badges earned are sewn onto the sweatshirt. There is a carefully constructed psychology behind the ladybird programme, which is evident in the day-to-day -day activities, the way in which the meetings are run, the subtle guidance of the leaders and the subsequent way in which the children are treated. The experiences we provide for the children are very important and we take every care and commitment to enhance each child's personal development and individuality at this formative age. The ladybirds are always treated with the utmost respect and their individual personalities, backgrounds and development are taken into consideration. We understand that by the age of five, a child is becoming competent in everyday activities and has good powers of communication. Her movements are becoming coordinated and she is happy to engage in play with her peers. She loves to draw and is beginning to enjoy organised games because she can understand simple rules and is developing a sense of fair play. The Ladybird programme endeavours to encourage and stimulate all of these important elements, including the child's physical, emotional, social and intellectual growth. We believe this is achieved with a sense of fun and mutual respect. Working with Ladybird Guides is a challenge, an exciting responsibility and a great opportunity to support the development and progress of the Ladybirds in our care. Here's what some of our ladybirds have to say. I like colouring. Do stuff in our books and play with the play doh. Yes. I like colouring. I like playing all of these. Uh, I've a patient woman. She's named Penelope and she's a guinea pig. And she's the strongest bite. She even makes your finger bleed. Um, I like playing the games and playing with the play doh. Uh, treasure hunt. Best thing ever. Yeah. Magic shoes and the traffic light game. Uh, we had to do Easter hunt, and there was red squares. And look, when we come back, if everyone finds. A red square, they get to come back and get an Easter egg and bring it home and eat the whole chocolate themselves and I got a stomachache.